I don't even have to watch that video. I just... A senator sold his stock after he was briefed about the virus situation back in December or November of last year. So a senator was told that this shit was going to happen four, five months ago. Went off and sold all his stock just so he could sit there on his billions. And during this crisis, the government's saying, okay, um, we're going to put bailouts for uh, multi-billion dollar companies. And, um, you know, because they theoretically lost theoretical money that theoretically exists... Although it doesn't really exist at all because it's all in, um, it's all investment into not a real stock, but a theoretical stock. The fucking Confusopoly is strong with this one. There's multiple types of stocks and bonds and, and equities and all kinds of shit to explain. But basically, there's real stock that means something. And then there's theoretical stock, which doesn't mean a goddamn thing. It's all a... Uh, it's like a loan. <laughs> You're giving somebody something on the promise that they'll give it back. It's an IOU. That's, that's the uh, analogy I need to use. It's a, a stock market IOU. So the stock market's going to pay them money back on this IOU shit. Which is just going in a big fucking circle. And the, the, the government's bailing out these billionaires because they didn't lose anything for real. But they theoretically lost theoretical non-existent IOUs that they invested in put into a, a theoretical IOU stock or bond or equity or whatever. Explaining this is just mind-numbingly stupid. Let's see if I can sum it up differently. They're going to give the billionaires more money. There, that summarizes that statement up. <laughs> Months ago, asshole billionaire, ruler of a fucking state, gets wind of what's going to happen, sells off all of his stock to get all the money so he can do whatever the fuck he wants with it. That's called insider trading. That's illegal. That's federally illegal. You're not supposed to take information on how the stock market's going to be doing and use it to profiteer and racketeer like that. You're not supposed to do that. That's illegal. That's federally illegal. Why don't they just fucking put a bullet in this fucker's head and rid the world of his stupidity and his greed-mongering and his fucking capitalist bullshit? That right there, in the fucking nutshell, that's done. Now this fucking bailout shit. They're going to give fucking monsters like that senator more fucking money. And they're going to give it to corporations. Corporations who don't fucking need it. The airline business. The, the fucking... Doesn't fucking need it. No. You, you're you're non-essential company. Airline businesses are non-essential. There's, there's no need to bail out a company that's non-essential. They should be shut the fuck down entirely. Their stock should read zero as a flat line right now. Those assholes should be working a different job. Helping to flatten the fucking curve, as it were, with the, uh, the outbreak of this virus that's going around. But they're not. They're sitting on their asses at home while 
people work underneath them going back and forth to work spreading this shit around. And they're going to get more money for that? For not giving a fuck about the health of their employees? Mm -hmm. You know what's essential right now? Food. Medicals. Your water, your power. And... It's a bit iffy on the internet. It's a bit iffy on that. So, food, medicals, water, and power. Though, there's one I left out. Trash pickup. That's fucking essential right now. And I'm not talking about fast food. No. Fuck no. Fast food joints, they need to shut the fuck down. Grocery stores, those should stay open. You need to go and get food for yourself. Cook it at home for yourself. Don't eat out at a fast food, uh, fucking McDonald's or an Applebee's. Or an Olive Garden. I don't give a fuck what it. What you know? If it's someone else cooking food at another place, a restaurant, fast food, whatever you want to fucking call it, that's non-essential right now. It should have been shut the fuck down two months ago, at minimum. Airline industries that should have shut the fuck down in January. That should be reading as a flat fucking line across the board right now. Yet they're gonna bail them out. When, even though he attacked me, my stepdad, he works at the, the fucking electric company locally. He deserves a fucking bailout. He deserves money to support my mom and sisters. Well, technically it's just one mom, one sister. One left some time ago and uh, one... Uh, one died after she was raped and... I'm just going to say raped and murdered. Because she died from the disease that got sparked on by the rapist. So fuck it. My stepdad. And it needs money for uh, my mom and sister. I need money for my daily fucking bullshit. To fucking go to the store and get food. Like I need to. And the basics for me. These billionaire fuckwit companies don't need more money. They need to get off their fucking ass and get a real job. Sitting on your ass because you own something. And getting money for it is not. You know. Absolutely not. And being a leader of anything is not a job you should be paid for. It's a burden and a responsibility. You shouldn't be paid to be a leader. This is where capitalism is just rampant. And I heard one dude in, in another YouTube channel say we have some sort of hybrid system. No, no, no. We have a uh, an, ev an evolution of capitalism where it favors little cocksucking billionaire companies who pay each other back and forth. That's how economics have evolved. Economics evolved based on money. Where the money goes and how it goes. You know how Oprah was just uh, avoiding taxes by giving gifts to people who couldn't afford to pay taxes on it? You know how um, they were trading money back and forth? Yeah, Oprah ain't doing that anymore, is she? Major corporations are doing that. They're not trading stock back and forth like what happened uh, with uh, Enron. They're trading money back and forth to each other. They're trading um, other things back and forth that are uh, hidden in the fucking thousands upon thousands of layers of confusopoly in the stock market. 
in basically that one King of the Hill episode where all the dealers got together and said, uh, gentlemen, what we're about to do is highly illegal. And they decided to divvy up each section of the whole state and price gouge and make sure their customers could only go to that particular dealer in that area of the state. That's exactly what major corporations have done. Because uh, here's supporting evidence to this truth. Regional locking of your internet because the... Um, the FCC decided to kill net neutrality. So now things on the internet are region locked. Certain videos on YouTube you can't view if you're in a certain country. Region locking. That's just fucking evolution of capitalism right there. Your system's been fucking corrupt from the beginning. When the fuck are you assholes going to revolt on the oppressors and kill them? They don't deserve your fucking sympathy. And uh, when I say shadow government, the oppressors, it's the corporations. The billionaire fuckwits who sit on their ass and have millions of fucking dollars and they don't pay their employees enough to do a damn thing. I'm not talking about their management or corporate levels. I'm talking about their people on the ground floor doing stuff. Manual fucking labor. Janitors, for fuck's sake. People like my stepdad. Working at uh, the power company. We deserve the fucking bailout, not the corporate bitches. And this is another reason why I say fuck every last goddamn one of you. I hope every last fucking one of you Americans die to this coronavirus. I seriously fucking hope you do. So that I can laugh. So that I can enjoy the peace and quiet when you're gone. Fuck all of you. And if you do survive, give me your fucking money on PayPal and Patreon. Link should be in the description, you bitches.